Who are we going to go get at the airport today? Not the shoe. Who are we going to go get at the airport? <laughs> okay, go get Kenny. Okay. All right, we're going to go get Ganny. I'm officially 40 weeks today. If I don't go this week, I've got an induction date set for um, a week from today. So this is really my last prenatal appointment. I'm 40 weeks and that's really exciting. So we're gonna go in there. I'm sure they're just gonna ask how I'm doing, how I'm feeling. It's just gonna be a really quick appointment, but definitely needed to have it because today is my due date. What's the day today? September 21st. So maybe we'll go today, <laughs> probably not. Simeon is at home as Ganny flew up from Georgia yesterday. So he is enjoying his time with his Ganny. It's gonna go fast, should be here for a little while, but it, it always flies by. And also he stayed down with her. She's staying at my parents' place. Um, he spent the night with her last night and it was just so weird because he usually is like, he'll want to, but he's got like those mixed emotions and he always ends up back in our bed <laughs> with mom and dad. But he actually like stayed the whole night with her and it was just so weird for Nathan and <laughs> I wasn't it, babe. Mm -hmm. It was like, oh, we miss our baby. But it was really nice at the same time just to have a break. <laughs> but it's just, it just made us feel like, wow, he's really growing up. He's like, not a baby anymore. <laughs> By the way, everybody, uh, we showed this uh, hospital in the last video, and yeah, this is actually where I work. Of course, I haven't been to any other place, but I've just heard things about different hospitals in the area, and um, we had such a good experience here the first time, and I went through so much. Like, they just did so good because of everything that happened. I was here so long, and they just took such good care of me, so we just stuck with this place, and I just feel like it's the best. <laughs> just got out of my appointment everything looks good since it is my due date it's just standard procedure that they do an ultrasound if you go past your due date actually they could get me in today for an ultrasound at 12 o'clock so we've got about 45 minutes um, that's just it's just like I said a standard precaution thing they're just gonna go check make sure everything is okay make sure the baby's chill with hanging out a little bit longer it just depends if I go in labor naturally or if I have to be induced on the 28th um, so we'll just see We'll just see, hopefully we can get a picture. I've only had one ultrasound, that was my 20 week. And with Simeon, I had so many ultrasounds. So that's a good thing that I didn't have to have ultrasounds, but I really wanna see, hopefully I can see the baby's face. I'm just glad we're getting an ultrasound just to make sure everything's good. <laughs> so that's the update for you guys. It's really cool that they could do it today. I know, because we're we're a little drive um, to the hospital for like 45 minutes. So it was nice they could get me in today so we don't have to c come back tomorrow or, or the next couple days. So it all works out pretty good. So we're gonna go back in about 45 minutes for that ultrasound. I'll let you guys know how that goes after. 
it's a stick. Oh, you got to try that. And it's just got that fried goodness oh. all around it. <laughs> it's so yummy. The best. Mm. I'm good. The best. The best. And we for like the best. Get, and with it, we like to get a hot Dunkachino with whipped cream. This is a small. And we just get, it's like half hot chocolate, half coffee. And it's so good with a donut. So a hot Dunkachino. They make them iced and cold, I think, too. So good. I don't know who she looks like. This is crazy. She looks so different than Simeon. The pictures think, aren't good. No, the pictures aren't good. This one's actually not bad. Looks like she's got your lips. <laughs> Did you notice I that? that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness, they look big. Kind of has that lip like she you She has that on. look that you have right there. Let's look at it from that angle. <laughs> we got some photos, guys. We got some 3D. They weren't very good because she, there wasn't a lot of fluid around the face. So she couldn't get like a good 3D photo. So they're not the greatest photos, but you can see the eyes, the, the lips. You can see the face. It's just kind of smudgy. But it's so exciting. Everything went good. I passed my test. She explained like the reason why we're in there and the whole process and how we needed to have like eight points. We need to pass it with fine colors. And I did. So everything went really good. Now we can go home and just hope she comes soon. What is your buddy doing? Yeah, Camden's right over there where all those boats are, Mom. Obviously, she's still here. And I've been trying, I've been walking, and I've been very active recently, just having a lot more of that nesting mode and that type of energy. But I still, she's just not ready, I guess. But if I don't go in tonight or tomorrow, I do have an induction day set for tomorrow night. Um, we have to go in tomorrow evening and start that process because I'll be 41 weeks tomorrow. 
so I just I just really want to have this baby we are so excited to meet her and Teresa's up here we um, got her at the airport about a week ago she came up here to see the baby so we really want to have this baby before she has to leave so we are going to hopefully meet our little girl in a couple days and we will be videoing the journey keep watching stay tuned for the baby video that will be coming up probably very soon so we are excited about that but anyways just wanted to give you an update of what's going on yeah we are basically on baby watch everybody along with everything else that's going on i'm sure you can tell that i'm really congested yes i have a bad cold and so not good it is not good and it's just anyways but it's just going to be what it is we're at a beach here in owl's head and right above us is the owl's headlight or the lighthouse they call them headlights up here and absolutely gorgeous one of the most beautiful iconic lighthouses in our entire area and there's a trail to that and then there's a trail over here to this side of the sort of reserve it's got a beach to it it's very very beautiful over here very peaceful you can hear the waves you know crashing in and Simeon said I want to go to the beach so guess what we brought him to the beach Cheyenne needed to get a little extra walking in so but it's not a very far walk I mean it's like a tenth of a mile or something it's not very far at all so where we are there's a beautiful view of the Camden Hills of Maine and as I've told you in a previous vlog a long time back, this is really the only place on the eastern seaboard that has mountains right up against the ocean. And then of course Bar Harbor, but these two places, Camden and Bar Harbor, that's what makes them unique on the eastern seaboard of the entire United States. So it's obviously very beautiful here and you've got quite an incredible view and you're really right near two major lighthouses. There's the breakwater over here in Rockland and then there's this Owl's Head uh, headlight. And actually there's two more, believe it or not, right here in this local area. If you live in this state, you really should take advantage of the beauty that surrounds you. So you have to find the good in everything, including where you live, wherever you live, you try to find the best and enjoy it from time to time. But mom's had a great time here with Simeon already. She's just had the best time with him. He never sleeps with anybody absolutely never sleeps with anybody and yet he has slept with her besides us of course and he slept with her now what four or five nights Cheyenne yeah every night except for two I think mm -hmm. One of the most notable things about the Maine coastline is the rocky coastline of Maine. And I'm literally standing inside of a massive cliff of rock right up against the ocean. This is one of the key features of Maine coastline. You do get some beaches in the south, south of Portland and southern Maine, you do get some true beaches, but up here in our area, you get a lot of this rocky coastline. And when you go to Bar Harbor, which is on north of us, this is one of the keynote features. And the water also here, everybody, is very, very clear. It's, it's very, very clear and beautiful. It's not like sort of some of the southern waterways where it's just kind of muddy. Not like that here. Very, very clean, very clear. Thank you. 
famous sandwich here in the state of Maine. I think they're only in the state of Maine. And there's all kinds of shops over the whole state. <laughs> it's so so all right, see if you look. Look. Oh, it's Yum. What do you think? Your pies need to pray so we can eat. Oh, yeah. We're gonna go around. Go. Woo! <laughs> He's worn out. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, I did it. You did it. Good job. All right, go He's rub a Ganny. Got to get his refuel. All oh, right. Bye. Okay. <laughs> 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 <laughs>